We are starting today's video off at a Walmart. Oh look, hey, we already got this. Yeah, so we got this in our last video. It looks like this might be the only one here. I don't know, did these stores not get very many of these cars? Matchbox are stock. These are ones nobody wants. I don't really want any of them either. I just want that Porsche. I do have it, guys, like I said. I just don't have it carded, but I, I just want to find it. Thank you so much for all the people who have told me they would send me one, and if I cannot find it, I will come back to your post. But I definitely just want to find it in the wild, and I'm pretty sure at some point I will. So, it doesn't look like there's anything here. I checked the dump in. It's all old stock, so. I'm gonna hit the grocery store across the street and see if they got B-Case there yet. Here is Phil's pickup for this video, the Volvo 850 Estate. Phil, I saw your comment saying to grab it, so here you go, bud. I got it for you. Sick. Dollar General. I haven't been to the store in forever. Last time I was here was with Lisa, like literally months ago. So this would be, I'm seeing M. Bunch of MKs. No, what is that? Dude, I've never seen this car before. Is this a Dollar General exclusive? What the heck? That is crazy. I've never seen that color. Oh, I hope there's another one so I can open them. That's so cool. Yo, what the heck? Dude, MK, can someone fill me in? These must be Dollar General exclusives. It's the only thing that makes sense. Police Camaro, someone said something about that. Mercedes. Yo, that's crazy. There's another one. have to be Dollar General exclusives. It's the only thing that makes sense. It's a strange mixture. But why haven't I seen them at any other store? I'm so confused right now. There's a very interesting mixture of cars in this shipper here. Let's say that right now, for sure. What is this? Orange? Dude, there's another one. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? The confusion is real. Let's check the pegs now. 94 Super Tuned Edition. Very cool. I don't think I've seen this one either. Dude, what the heck is going on right now? The fridge behind me just turned up, so it's a little quieter. Yeah, there's another one, dude. I'm glad I stopped here. Another Maverick. These cars are falling all over the place. I'm definitely gonna clean these up when I'm done. All right, I think that's it. We got some cool cars here though. That was a awesome unexpected find. What could top that? B case. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna find B case here. All right, we're checking out another Publix. I just wanna find B case. All right, we finally found a Publix that's got some Hot Wheels. This looks like AK stuff here. Another Happy New Year car right there. Happy New Year to you guys. All 
Alright, nope, I'm not seeing anything here. And definitely no B case. Oh, there's some more cars down here. What do we got? Oh, there's a whole bunch back here. Oh, guys, I love this. Have I said that yet? I love it. There's a bunch. Alright, hold on. I gotta put the camera down, guys. There's a bunch of cars all over the place. Alright, Mr. Nissan Skyline GTR 112. This is my thank you to you for watching all my videos. We're getting the shark bite. I love Publix for Hot Wheels, but there's one thing I love and hate about them. It's like bittersweet. It's these stupid Publix subs. Anybody who knows Publix knows that Publix subs are so good. And if I'm out hunting and I haven't eaten yet, man, I cannot resist a good old Publix sub. And check it out. We got the iceberg water. Let's go. Sick. Alright, we're at this Target again. We were here a few days ago in the video with the little 124th scale diecast cars. I also stopped at a Target last night, but there was nothing there, so I just didn't film. Late night Target. Also, Audi R8. Let's see if this store got anything in the few days since we've been here. They're stocked up on these. There's no way. How could that even be? That makes no sense. They're literally all gone. That is crazy. All of these here and not one forerunner. I can't even believe that. That's ridiculous. Hey, what's this? Oh, B. Did they get a new B case here? Oh, this isn't B case to R, so they might have gotten a B case restock. Let's peek through. I need to find the treasure hunt I left behind the other day. Oops. That was a bonehead move. Remember how I said I wasn't gonna watch the videos? Yeah, I'm gonna. So I don't miss the treasure hunts. That's new. Unlimited drift. That one's really nice. Finally, some new BKs. Let's go. C6 Corvette. Oh, yes. Another Ram, we have that. Drift and brake, don't have that. A new Braille racer, that's kind of cool. Okay, got some cool cars here. I'm happy as a shark bite. I just can't believe this. I mean, I can believe this, but y'all are savages, dude. There must have been a huge shipment of them with based on the amount of cars, and there was literally zero Forerunners and zero Land Cruiser. That's insane. Is it really that nice? So I looked up the Forerunner on eBay and they're selling for 20 plus dollars. So not surprised, it totally makes sense. Oh well, these are the reasons why I don't really care about chasing cars around. Kind of like, of course I want the truck, but it just makes me not want it that much more because I don't feel like playing that rat race game. I got my Lolux, I'm happy. Struck out completely so far at Publix. Let's try one more time. Nope. This is a a case for days. All right, guys, we're back from another successful hunt. Before we overview the cars, in the last video, I mentioned how I got new hooks and I was gonna change my setup. I did, guys, so check it out. I hung up a bunch of cool cars that I have here. The first thing is the Muscle Machines 1972 Datsun 240C Chase sent to me by Paul L. Another car sent to me by Paul L. The 73 Ford Falcon Super Treasure Hunt. Thank you so much for those cars, Paul. Then we got the first Super Treasure Hunt found in the wild on my channel, the Ford Escort RS2. 2000 out of a case we have the glory chaser super treasure hunt that was given to me by tj thank you so much for that tj the lotus avijah super treasure hunt that i bought for 20 dollars off facebook marketplace and then this is the og the original first super treasure hunt that i ever found back in 2017 yes guys this was not my first super ever but it was the first super on the channel so it does have a lot of significance i didn't actually like it when i first found it i thought it was ugly <laughs> i threw it back and then on second rounds i was like you know maybe i will take Take it and I think that's when I noticed it and I was like oh my god good thing I didn't leave it behind next up here is this super tsunami sent in also by Paul L it is a super treasure hunt but this is before supers existed so all you had back then was just regular treasure hunts but as you can see it has rubber wheels on it I think it does right I actually don't know let me know in the comments guys I thought it did but on closer inspection I don't think it does the first super chase I ever got the Matchbox Super Chase Porsche 911 GT3. Bought this on Whatnot for 20 bucks. So these are the two only cars of these types 
I've ever purchased. And then the first Super Chase I found on my channel, so far the only one really, the 1932 Ford Coupe Model B. That was an awesome find. And then right here we have submission from Kenny G, the Matchbox 2018 Bugatti Devo. And then Kevin P sent me this awesome Back to the Future Ice Time Machine treasure hunt. So I just want to give a huge shout out to my amazing subscribers that have sent me stuff in. It's just absolutely unbelievable and you won't even believe what is behind me. I've got three more boxes here to go through guys. I don't even know when I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm hoping I can get TJ, myself, and Lisa all together at the same time to do it, but I can't promise anything. I still haven't finished the other like two videos I have of unboxings, so those will be coming out in the coming Wednesdays. There's so much stuff going on in my channel right now guys. It is crazy. I am running out of days to make videos to be honest. I am, I'm literally like, I'm backed up. I'm backed up guys. I may have to make a second channel to just release some of the fun videos I make because sometimes I just don't have room in my schedule, which is crazy to me because there was a point where I didn't even know what to make videos about. All right, no more wasting time, guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Let's go over what we got in this video. So for Phil, we got the Volvo 850 Estate. He said something about getting it for him. So Phil, here you go. The Volvo 850 Estate. This is one of the cars with the metal bottom in the same series that the Datsun is in. I didn't really care about it myself, but it seems that Phil wanted it, so there you go, Phil. That's your car for this video. And then we hit Dollar General, guys. I'm so happy I went to that store. I haven't gone to that store in a while. It seems like every time I go there, it's like closed. They change their schedule all the time, so I just skip it sometimes. 17 Audi R6 Avant in this awesome gray. This is probably the best looking version of it. They have this in a green too, and I can't remember the other colors, but this one is so much nicer than the rest with the black wheels. Dollar General exclusive here, guys. I looked it up. These are Dollar General exclusives. And then we got three of these 2023 Nissan Zs, one of them to open, one of them for my collection, and then one of them for TJ's collection, obviously. I don't need three of them. But yeah, this thing's really cool. It looks a lot better than the other colors, in my opinion. Just something about gray and black that just looks stellar. I'm not sure why I got this. I feel like someone told me I should get it, but I'm thinking back, and I don't think this was the car they said, but whatever, it's in the collection now. Another Dollar General exclusive here, the 62 Corvette Gasser. I think this one was red, but it looks like this orange is the Dollar General exclusive color. And then these, the custom Ford Mavericks. This is normally green, I think, but it has been recolored in this beautiful blue. Two for me, one to open, and one for TJ. There you go, man. I got it. You've been telling me to get it. I've had it in my hand a few times. You watch all my videos and you comment on all my videos. So I figured I'd do this for you, man. This thing is cool and I might actually open it, to be honest. Pretty sure I have one of these from when I was a kid, too. And then we hit the target at the end, guys. And I found some BK's cars I don't have yet. I really don't have BK's cars at all. So I'm happy to find some, finally. Corvette C6. This is actually an older Corvette. Usually it's the C7 or the C8 we've been finding. C6 in orange with this cool black stripe type thing and the red accents on it too. I didn't show this in a video when I was looking through the cars, but it was the last car I picked up and I grabbed it. The Lolux recolor. This one's really cool. It's a tough call between this one and the white one to which one is the best, to be honest. Dude, this is the best limited grip. I, the blue one is beautiful, but this thing looks great. I really like this casting, and I'm so excited to see how many recolors they do. 72 Stingray Convertible in white here. Super, super nice car. Really like this one. And then the recolor of the Braille Twin Mill Racer. Definitely cool. That's it for the video, guys. We got a lot of cars in it. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.